Oh, baby. Gul'dan versus Gul'dan. Oh, he's shiny, man. That Your sucks. Shall be mine. Guess Your I don't keep Shadow Flame. I'm suffer. really sick of this matchup. Gonna hold on to Mountain Giants. We got rid of those on accident last time. That's not the right play. Oh, dude. I never, it never occurred to me that there was dynamite strapped to the bomb. Hmm. <laughs> What song was that? It is Death Magic by RBTS Win. RBTS? RTBS? RBTS Win. It is Death Magic by RTBS. RBTS. Shit. One of those two. Uh, and it's remixed by Blue Sky Black Death, because that's all the stuff I listen to is Blue Sky Black Death and their permutations. Like, don't die, just try to be alive. I'm really good. Oh! Oh no. Oh no. Voice of an angel. I do not have a good voice. That is one thing I am pretty certain of. I mean, like my voice. Like if I'm talking, I'm that's totally false. Not good voice. Mortal coil for two. Oh, damn! Someone's trying to be creative. And then I'll mortal coil for two. Damn. Rotten Agenda says, Day 9 TV, your first break always co coincides with my bathroom break. Perfect. My number one concern when creating the show slate was to identify bladder concerns. We describe these concerns as bladular. Hurling the units out. Hearthstone is a game where you have spells and units. Ow. What's he doing? Am I about to get dark bombed with the power of Thalnoth? Ah! Oh. Duck toller. The woo hoo. Who dares summon me? Is it the Twade? This is, seems like an unusual way to play the video game, I feel. So I've got this guy now. So I feel okay. I feel good. I wonder. I've got the beast in my side. Okay. What next, duck color? Woohoo! Oh, that's interesting. That is that is a unique New York for sure. Let's go ahead and pop this one. Bam! Ooh! Let's go ahead and hit this one. Bam! Ooh, baby! Oh, I want this one. I want that one. Shields, ailing. I no, maybe my ancient watcher keeping that ancient watcher back is totally a okay. Aaron Toy says, I started streaming recently just to see what it was like, and it feels super weird being in a room talking to myself. Isn't it weird? It's so weird. Um, it wasn't... It doesn't take that long to get, like, cool with it. <gasps> no! One, two, three, I'll go to eleven. No, he, he, he can't, he can't do it. No, Duck Teller. No. Duck, no. Duck, no. No! Duck, no. My shield for Argus. You monster! 
Hit me in the face. <gasps> Boom! Boom! I'm real scared to life tap, you know what I mean? I'm like real scared. So Zan says, do you still talk to yourself off camera, Sean? Yes, I think in, in the form of conversation. Like, if I'm trying to solve a problem, I imagine myself conversing with someone about it. So a lot of times it's useful for me to, like, talk out loud. <laughs> that was me being him. I think this is right. Rax, especially with these two. Of the Burning Legion. Don't hit my 8 1! It was a good game. I'm so glad you guys do that, too. That's, that's awesome to know. Hey, Vista says, do you learn more effectively through auditory or visual means, or other? I think that... <laughs> I think I learn best by just doing. By, like, getting in there and really just screwing up. Like, badly. So I'm at 13, so he would need... He would need two power overwhelmings, and that would deal nine damage, and then he would need, like, a uh, Doom Heart. Not a Doom Heart, a Doom Guard, excuse me. I get scared against Zeus these days, man. Not as scared as I do against Druids, man. I see you. I'll just kill it. I don't give, I don't give a shit. If I go hit, I think this is the right play. Let <laughs> when opinionated, it says I also supply my RPG video game characters with additional dialogue. For example, don't put my man's name in your mouth, Leara. Parenthesis, you had to be there. Yeah, with no context, I can't really evaluate that very clearly. <laughs> I really wish that that is. Uh, there were there were things that worked in that way. Like, here's the punchline to a joke: the dog shouldn't be let out at 3 a.m. How do you what do you think of that punchline? I don't know. What was the buildup? Like, no, no, no. But seriously, like, just on the punchline, tell me what you think. I'm like, well, dogs dogs are pretty common. I feel like people understand dogs. So I don't know if you're gonna get anywhere talking about a dog. You know what I mean? be hard to do. Here's the last page of my book. What do you think about the Herald book? Oh my god, that is the sickest draw! So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Let none survive. Pop! Draw on a card. I think it's not time for that. It's very hard for him to kill us for 10 and we have a taunt. Did I miss lethal? 6 and 3 would have been 9. 6. Woo! We were close. We're close to missing lethal. Liara is one is a seriously thirsty little Asari from Mass Effect 2. My favorite part of Mass Effect 1 was right at the start of the game. Where there's the Volus guy who keeps saying Earth Clan in this really condescending voice. Okay, six and six is twelve, and three and three is eighteen, and twenty-one got him. Let none survive. We're doing some good work today. We've, we have gone up a rank, yes. 
Not that you know anything about that Earth clan. The Volus, he was pissed, man. <laughs> Call my friend Jeff Earth Clan for like two weeks. Gul'dan, oh god. This is when I was like going to the gym often over the summer. <laughs> it's just hand me the 15 pound weight, Earth Clan. <laughs> it's just <laughs> the most fun. Oh my god. It's good shit. Only played Mass Effect 1, isn't that crazy? Splat1649 says, May I ask why we were simply not hunting faces to live in? I really, I don't enjoy playing Face Hunter at all. I find it displeasing. Armor made to fit. Made to fit. Yeah, I just don't. Alright, I'm about to spoil some Mass Effect 1 stuff, so please turn the stream off. If you haven't played it. So Jumsy 1 says, Who did you romance in Mass Effect, man? Uh, just like Ashley, she was like the one girl in the universe when I was playing. And there's that choice where it's like, do you want to save Caden or Ashley? I was like, oh, fucking kill Caden, man. I don't, I don't give a shit about him, man. Ashley! Ashley! Like, I was like, no, I'm all in on Ashley, of course. And there was one time where she, she disagreed with me about saving the Rachni Queen. I really like how sensitive Caden was. I mean, I totally threw him under a bus, and by threw him under a bus, I mean threw him under a sheet of metal on a planet that was about to explode, but still... I was more like, hey, are you, I really like how you are sensitively worried about the issue of saving this rac uh, Rachni Queen. Yeah, it's like, do you want to save Ashley or Kate? Like, I didn't even look a second off. I was like, save Ashley. She's, she's going to be my girlfriend. <laughs> I'm told that you're supposed to be nice to your girlfriend. <sighs> Easy lesson to learn, fellas. Be nice to your girlfriend, that's very easy. If someone was like, Sean, on this planet, you have to leave someone to die. Do you leave the girl whom you hope to be your girlfriend there? I'm like, no, I would take her. I don't care who the second person is. Gandhi? No, I'll leave Gandhi on the planet to die. We're gonna we're gonna date soon, I think. I don't know that much about her, but I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. So, uh, you know. Good luck, have fun, uh, Gandhi. Well, the weather's nice in the uh, thermonuclear explosion that's about to happen. Let's see, what should I do? Shields up. Did you play Renegade or Paragon? Do I have Paragon? Are you kidding me? I'm such a goody two shoes in games. I'm like the king of goodiness. I'm just gonna silence him. I've got a Shut your face. Boom. Get out of there. Bam. Boom. Bam. I think I just end the turn without drawing. Because I don't want to run the risk of popping a card again. Why don't you deal one damage to me more, huh? <laughs> okay, okay. You can deal four damage. What do you do, Mir? I got this. Gotcha. Feeling like a villain, A+. Plus. I think we got him. The only romance option in Mass Effect 1 was Liara, yo. I don't know that much about Liara. <laughs> yeah, you can have Ragnaros, that's fine. Five, four and four and two is ten, and five is fifteen. Got him! 
shield for Arthur. It's working out great. And luck, and luck, and luck. If we do well, we'll treat ourselves to a game. Shadow Priest. <laughs> blah blah Embo says, do you have a fire year plan? What's a fire year plan? What is a fire year plan? Gul'dan versus Gerash. Versus Gerash. Your soul shall be mine. Victory or death. Go 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 go. Any thoughts on the Dragon Age series? Haven't played it. I, I do enjoy those open world RPGs, um, but I need to get like really lost in it. I need to get really, really lost in it. Like I can't just play for ninety minutes and stop. Like it's it's like a a, a four day affair. I remember when I first went to grad school, I had I had a hard time clicking because I don't mean, like, socially. I mean, like, mentally, I had, like, an existential crisis. Because at Harvey Mudd, they... I mean, they make you do a lot of work. Like, it is a it is a very work-intensive school. And very rarely do you ever have the possibility of finishing all your assignments. So it's, it's a very interesting juggling act. And what's interesting is the teachers, they're not shitty about it. They're not like, oh, well, yeah, you really gotta... You really gotta kick it into high gear here, Sean. Oh, this is kind of an awkward thing. I think I'd do this and then maybe just coin pass. Even though that sucks. I don't think there's anything that good that I can do. Shit, is this a is this an okay play? I guess I, I do wait one turn. There's a high chance that I can play something next turn. Ugh. Um But yeah, so. At RV Mud, the teachers are really supportive, the students are really supportive, it's a wonderful environment, but there's a lot to do, and you get told what you're supposed to be working on, with the exception of your thesis. So, well, that sucks. Shields up. So when I went to USC, where I was studying interactive media, we're studying interactive media. Um, the the sort of general goal of the program was to create an environment where you could do a lot of your own projects. Oh, thank goodness! But boy, are you late. You'd you'd get the opportunity to work on many of your own projects, and the coursework was often supplementary there. In short. It, w it was not like, do all these things. It was like, okay, here's a thing, here's a thing, here's a thing. And it was sort of assumed that you would be working on your own projects. Which is super, super, duper dope. I don't think I'm going to run out of course and this is to... So when you hit that all he wants, that's fine. Just don't want him to kill the Taurus. And so I remember I just kind of had this like weird existential moment where I was like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, I don't actually know, like today, like, you know, cause they'd be like, okay, class is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, here's some stuff, here's some stuff, here's some stuff, here's some stuff. And I would be done with like everything that had been assigned that week, like midday on Thursday. Armor. And I just like didn't have anything to do to do till like Monday and I was just like eh. it's just like it's so uncomfortable for me um I think uh, Hellfire is a good one here right oh shit oh oh my god cards god whoopsie fucking Daisies, man. Oh, but okay. But here's the thing. I um. By the power of Ragnaros, I have the power. It's a good thing to get executed. It's 
It's been a very card inefficient game for me. Man. I mean, I think I think I'm in good shape, but one, two, three. I don't know. I'm just. It's a little awkward. I don't know. Anyways, um, and of course, the reason I kind of had this I crisis is, is I just I, I was not used to this mental framework where it's like, yeah, dude, work work on your own project, do your own thing. I think this play is actually... No, I think I want two dudes out. So, I mean, what I eventually... Okay, so I, I was in this, in this point where I was just like, oh, I felt like sort of demotivated and confused, and it was almost like apathetic, right? I was almost like, I don't know, I could do... I don't know, I could watch... TV show, I don't know, uh, like, I just had this sort of, uh, this uh, sadness, this general frowniness, but I had ordered Fallout 3, because Fallout 1 and 2 are, like, two of my favorite games of all time. Love the original Fallout games so very much. So I pre-ordered Fallout 3. And it arrived on a, like, a Wednesday night. And, like, we didn't have classes Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. What up? I got the board. So I was just sort of like, huh. And I just installed Fallout 3, and I only Rock played Fallout War. 3 for five days. That is all that I did. I, di I, I just stayed up until I couldn't stay awake anymore. And then, uh, really, you gonna toss everything into that? All right, I got the play. I've got the beast in my sight. Wait, I didn't need to do that. Oh shit, did I miscount? Whatever, man. Screw it. I'm just gonna draw some cards, man. Boom. I want to toss that down? I think I do. And then I'm just gonna get Jaraxxus going up in this. I just I just stayed up till like 5 a.m. playing, and I just fell asleep. Woke up whenever the hell I woke up, and I just kept playing it till like you know noon the next day, and just fell asleep and woke up at like 3 a.m. and just play it like I had long insane sessions, and it was so awesome. That experience was just so fantastic. Oh shit, I fucked that one up. You're never coming out. You're never coming to the party. Whatever, I'll get an army of six sixes. It was so awesome, I just woke my brain up and suddenly I had all this excitement and just eagerness to take on new projects. Like, it was just such a stimulating experience. I loved it so much. Oh my god. Until there's a threat, I don't know if I'm going to play a card, man. Why didn't I play the Molten? I don't know. It sucks, man. I don't need the Giant. See, I, I throw away one Giant per game just to make sure we're keeping it fair playing field. And so my second year in grad school is when I just went project crazy. I was working on an educational research math game called Puppet Man, which you can hear the, hear the stories of and the uh, story of how I almost died. There's a... Uh, I was doing usual grad school stuff. Uh, I started the day nine daily, and I started working on a small, small game. Oh, Sheriff, do you want to hang out on the right shoulder? Do you want to hang out on the right shoulder? Oh, this kid. Rotate her up, put her here. She loves the right shoulder. There it is. Hey, sweet kitten. Here, let's pull your claws out of my body. There we go. Don't worry, Sheriff has depression. I have no time for games. Loudest cat. Yeah, make sure you're in a good spot on the right shoulder. I think it's 
right to just trade here, right? I want to keep that board real empty. And just keep my hand all full. Yeah, I had a tough day. You got a friend down the hall you're never going to get to see ever because what if we meet the owner and he's weird? Um, we can't run that risk. Then we have a weird person who thinks he's our friend and he has a cat. Ron Agenda said, have you ever had anything stolen or lost? Anything that affected you for a while? Lost my favorite hat. It's bumming me out, dude. I have, I have a tale as tragic as time itself. The story of when I lost my dear bunny. If you watch Day 9 Daily number 100, I talk about that. What happened while I was away? I didn't even look at what he played. Oh. Oh, Grom Taskmaster. Oh. Covert Muffin asks, I have a favorite Magic the Gathering card. Wolfie or Silverheart has a special place for me. I lost my bunny. Is Manfred like Bunny Jr.? You got it, man. Inferno! 